scale. There's someone by the lake. Ew, no, I'm not gonna touch that. Well, we could just leave that person here. No one's gonna know. Well then, be the hero. But I'm not helping. During your restless sleep, you are starting to sense that something is not quite right. As you feel an unwanted presence getting closer to you, you slowly wake up, feeling weak and in pain. <clears throat> oh my! You're awake. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't move so much if I were you. You've been badly injured. Our cleric did the best she could, but uh, you should rest. My name is Yena. You think you can remember that? Yena, it's not that difficult. And your name is? Well, hello. Why am I tied up? It is very nice to meet you. <laughs> well, how were we supposed to know whether or not you would be dangerous? We brought you into our camp, after all. Well, yes, it would be all of us against you, one person, but uh, you could be a powerful sorcerer who would not be stopped by one simple rope, uh, but anyway, it definitely had nothing to do with me and uh, Astarion tying you up for fun. All right, all right, stop whining. And this yourself. <sighs> anyway, do you remember anything that happened? Mm, not really. <laughs> well, Gail and I, that's the tall man over there, found you in the forest. We were just looking for some ingredients for potions and there you were. On the floor. I don't remember. Well, any. As your minds connect, you see the elf in front of you as a young child, trying to hunt for food in a lifeless, cold forest. You feel fear, not because you're afraid of starvation, but because you fear the punishment you will receive if you do not bring home any food. Well, you just, um, probably saw more about my past than I would have ever voluntarily told you about. No, we don't need to talk about that. So you're one of us. I had a feeling. Well, I was hoping you'd be someone important, maybe so that we could hold you for ransom, or steal from you. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, um, well, Gail and I found you there and then carried you all the way back to our camp. This wonderful place. You were heavy. Gods, you were heavy. I would assume I didn't lift a finger. Gail had to carry you. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to be nicer. I am trying to be a good person. Just, it's just so much fun to steal things from people. <laughs> uh, when they least expect it. Well, I'm not without principles. I would never steal from my companions, or betray them in any way. I haven't known them for long, but 
Well, I think none of us would admit it, but we do like each other. Well, we're sticking together because we are trying to find a way to get rid of these unwanted guests up here. You can join us if you want. Well, we do have some ideas. Um, Lazelle, for instance. Uh, I don't think you can see her from here. Behind the camp of that pale elf. She thinks we should go to a Githyanki crash. She's certain that we will find help there. Well, we have no idea, but it's a start. I'm curious to see how you would interact with her. Well, she... She isn't exactly the friendliest person. She... She's honest. If she thinks you look and smell like shit, she will tell you. And gladly so. I appreciate that about her. Sometimes... We spend hours by the fire, just insulting each other. And it's not even about hurting each other's feelings, but more about seeing who can come up with more creative insults. The others mostly ignore us, but Shadowheart, a cleric. I think she enjoys it quite a bit when I call Lazelle a bad face. They really don't get along very well. And then we have Astarion. That's the pale elf over there. I think he enjoys us having these little fights, but... I'm pretty sure he would prefer to see us have a physical fight rather than a verbal one. You are going to like everyone here, I have a feeling. And I have a feeling that you and I are going to get along very well. Too. Maybe. Maybe not. Well. If you want to join us. There are some things you need to know. And if you are not able to deal with that, then you cannot join us. Astarion is a vampire. Don't worry, he's not going to drink your blood without asking. Not anymore. You see, was it the second night or the third night we had stayed here together? He came to me in the middle of the night and tried to drink my blood without asking. I may have nearly killed him. Well, he didn't ask. I felt... Well, I wasn't a danger, but... Well, if you get the chance to hit someone, you do it. He deserved it a little. Anyway, well, I gave him some time to explain himself, and he just needed some blood to well, regain his energy. At that point, obviously, we didn't know he was a vampire. He hadn't told us because he was afraid that we would, um, well, hurt him like I did. <laughs> so, uh, We get along with him just fine now. Although he can be a little dramatic. But he has every right to be that way. Well, it's not my place to tell you a story, but... He has been through a lot. 
Let's just say there was someone in his life who treated him horribly. And if we find that person, we are going to um, decorate the floor with his intestines. I also have an art idea in my mind with this Cazador. I've always wondered what it looked like if you rearranged someone's teeth in their eyes. Like, just put them all over their face, basically. And I think this would be a perfect opportunity to try that. Mm. Of course, I will let Astarion finish the job if he wants to. But this is a perfect chance for me to make someone suffer. And I will have every right to do so. No one is going to stop me. something. There's this whole thing about... I'm going to tell you about that later. Something that involves druids and tieflings and goblins and everything at once. <sighs> anyway, um... I'm just... Uh, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to... Uh, Look through, um, the, uh, loot that we collected today. Since Gale was the one carrying you, I, of course, had to be the one carrying all the loot. to solve. <laughs> Why did we collect so many plants again? Yourself. What uh, did you do before this um, unexpected journey through the skies? What was your life like? This is going to be fun. No, please continue. I do want to know a few things about you if you are going to join us.
Oh, no. I am not going to tell you about my life. No. You have already seen more than enough. For now. Maybe at some point. I might tell you a thing or two. Well, it sounds like your life was rather peaceful. to know them by yourself, but some things I can tell you, things that are not too personal. For instance, um, Carla, that's the flaming woman over there. I adore her. <laughs> well, that was a funny story. Um, you see, Will. Can you see him? The man with the horns? Yeah. Well, don't worry, don't worry. There's a whole story behind us. Will was supposed to hunt Carla. Um, but then we realized there was, um, well, it was a trick. Carla is no monster who would hurt anyone willingly. But she was used to kill. And uh, once we cleared that misunderstanding, Will and Carla got along very well, actually. But then um, there was this, um, well, I have to admit, quite a good-looking lady who visited us unexpectedly one night and turned Will into Will with horns. He hasn't really accepted his fate of being a devil. <laughs> so maybe don't try to, you know, talk badly about it or look at him strange. Just compliment him if you get the chance. He's really insecure about this. He was this mighty hero before. Always defending the weak. Well, he still is that person now. He just doesn't see himself as that. But we're working on that. anyone who wouldn't. She isn't exactly the most elegant lady. But that's exactly why I like her. She can be so bloodthirsty. <laughs> but she has a good heart. Will wasn't the only one who was supposed to hunt her. There were these, um... Well, there were a bunch of people who were posing as good, kind paladins who were supposed to hunt down the devil Carla. Let's just say, um... We allowed Carla to have some fun with them. And fun it was. <laughs> Almost burned down the entire house. Oh, right. A cleric. Shadowheart. She 
She's, well, she's secretive. Getting to know her isn't exactly easy. I found out that if you just don't try to constantly urge her to talk about her past, she will appreciate that. She likes to keep certain things private. Which she can, absolutely, of course. I think they're going to like you, don't worry. I mean, I'm a great judge of character and I already like you, so... And we also have a dog. Scratch. He keeps jumping on our, well, dinner tables all the time. But that's fine. Well, if you want to, you can play with him. He loves to catch his favorite ball every once in a while. So if you want to throw that around, just make sure you do not throw it at us. I would appreciate that. I may have accidentally once on purpose thrown the ball at Astarion just to see what happens. <clears throat> he didn't appreciate it. If you feel like it, you could try to do that. But I want to be there if you do it. I want to see that. Just to see his reaction. You don't happen to have anything useful on you, do you? If, if you're joining us, we share everything. Not much, huh? What? A tadpole? You killed a true soul? I'm kidding, I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I said, you are easy to tease. I am going to tease you. No, no, keep it. We can use it as decoration. Have you been visited in your dreams by someone? Someone annoyingly attractive? Hmm. Yes, we have had this dream visitor as well. Well, we are still debating, but most of us think we should not give in to this. It has to be a trick. What do you think about it? You want to absorb its power? Well, don't worry. We are going to figure this out. So just keep it for now. You're going to need some armor for you. Well, like I said, we share everything. And I doubt that you have plenty of coin to buy your own.
I already have something in mind for you. Well. Now with all this blood and dirt gone from your face, thanks to Shadowheart, you do not look entirely ugly anymore. And I think I happen to have an armor that would suit your complexion. That's all. Anyway, that is useless. I suppose we'll have to go stealing some more things tomorrow. Along with a new companion. Anyway, you should get some rest. If you want to be of any use to us, you have to be well rested. Alright, I'm going to let you sleep. And uh, tomorrow I will properly introduce you to everyone. Have a good night.